What's up guys, today we have another set review. This one is of set 75316, the Mandalorian Starfighter. It has three minifigures and a Mandalorian Starfighter, obviously. It has 544 pieces and it has the Disney logo in the bottom and the Lego Star Wars logos up on the top. It's got some nice scribbling up here and an actual size of the Gar Saxon minifigure. We also have a 332nd Trooper, which just kind of shows, like, what era it's from. And then we have another Mandalorian Starfighter and Mandalore in the background. If we go ahead and flip it around to the back, you can see a play feature, which is a stud shooter. And you can fit both Bo-Katan and the Mandalorian um, into the back. You have Bo-Katan just, like, flying. The, like, Mandalorian Loyalist, I think is what it's called, up there and Gar Saxon, which is fighting them. You can fit Bo-Katan and the uh, other Mandalorian in there, and the wings fold, and the cockpit twists. You got some nice little, like, stud, sh not stud shooters, spring-loaded shooters on the sides of the wings, which are kind of tucked away. And you've got the little, like, opening things on the side. Let's go ahead and open it up. With the set already opened up, we have bag one, bag two, bag three, bag four, if you can see it, and then the instruction manual and some stickers. If we go ahead and flip to the back, you can see the parts list, and then some of the minifigures from other sets in this, like, wave. You also have the Skywalker Saga logo thing. It should have came out last year, and still hasn't. And then we've got some of the sets from this wave and last year's wave. Let's go ahead and build the set. I've gone ahead and finished the build, and it looks good. To start off with the minifigures, we have Gar Saxon. He has gunmetal gray for, like, all of the main colors and stuff. And the gunmetal gray goes just so good with the yellow and red and, like, silver stripings and stuff. Let's go ahead and take the, he uh, the helmet off and stuff. Um, and, like, the jetpack and stuff, you can see his front print a little bit better, and his face print. He has a nice, like, bearded print with a torso and stuff. Honestly, I wish they did the capes instead of just printing them on, because it's not the same. And then on the back, we have the just, like, nice printed red and black back, and it just looks good. Moving on, we have a Mandalorian Loyalist, aka Death Watch member. They have some torso printing and leg printing that continues down. If we go ahead and lower the arms and stuff, you can see it a little bit better. The blue and the light gray and the gunmetal gray looks really good. And they also, all three of the minifigures have the older style blaster pistols. The head is just black, so that way, because it's not really shown as like a face. And on the back, you can see some blue back printing. Let's go ahead and put the helmet and stuff back on, and moving on to Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan is probably the second best minifigure in the set, Gar Saxon being the first. They There's a nice, like, owl head printing, and there is it comes with a rangefinder. The, there's also some nice torso printing and leg printing, which is in, I think, gunmetal gray in some spots, and, like, some brown and blue sprinkled in. She does have a face print and even a double-sided print on the back. And if we go ahead and take the hairpiece, you can put it on. And then you can see her, like, angry face on the back. If we go ahead and take the head off, you can see the back print, which is just, like, kind of bland. There's nothing really going on there. And it's just a decent little back print. Personally, for the minifigures, I'm not going to take the helmets off because the heads or the hair pieces just aren't that desirable. Bo-Katan looks better with the helmet on, and so does Gar Saxon. But moving on to the build. The build is a very nice looking one. The underside of the wings aren't the best part. They look much better on the top part. It's it's cool to see Lego try and mirror it, but they just it isn't the same. The wings don't look too m nice on the t on the bottom side just because it's not like tiled off or whatever. But if we go ahead and flip it like this, you can kind of see both at once. Like they just aren't the same. Um, let's go if we go ahead and flip the wing back up. 
you can take a look at the cockpit area. The cockpit area swivels and turns 100 or 360 degrees and has some stud shooters on the side which shoot. And then it's just a nice little like play feature right there. If I can get the stud in, I'm not putting the stud in. It's too difficult for me. But you've got some like tiled off area up here and it looks nice. It's got like the fork kind of thing on the two sides and then the cannons down there. You've also got some stud shooters on the, or spring loaded shooters on the wings. I never get that right. And then you got the little cockpit area. You got this, which is stickered. Personally, I prefer to take another tile and just put it right there because it just makes the thing look much cleaner looking. You also have stickers on either side of the cockpit. Moving on to inside the cockpit though, there is room for you to fit too many figures, which if we go ahead and take Bo-Katan and just like put her arms up and sit her down like so, you can sit her down in there and then we can take the Mandalorian Loyalist if I can get his guns out. It is a little bit of a tight fit down in there. You can see, like, you gotta put the arms up for the figure in the back, and bo you have to put the rangefinder down, and it's just a little hard to get the figures in there. And, and half thing close also. It, it does have a gap down in here, which isn't that nice to look at. The older version of the set has that, like, nicely made and kind of covered like with a piece it has like some type of like triangle piece right there to kind of cover it up and it makes it look nice on the old version but unfortunately lego didn't go for that here and just kind of went for a more like sleek looking design but you, there's a gap and that's pretty noticeable if you have the wings up in a position like this go ahead and moving on to the back though you can see some like vents up here and some like funneling or whatever like pipes and stuff you also have a turret on the back that swivels 360 degrees it is flimsy though so like it, it'll break off so what i personally am going to do is put this back here and then hold on once you take that little stud off you can just put it and put this piece down in here if I can get it there. So then you just have it down in there and it doesn't fall out. You, you can literally flip the entire ship back with it in there. So I'm most likely going to display it like that just because I personally think it does look nicer and it is in a just better spot in general. But moving on to the wing function and stuff. The wings do fold down and up there's a little piece on the bottom if you can see right in there that little black piece it stops it from folding too much and while we're on the bottom the landing gear isn't sufficient the set leans forwards massively this is sloped down why is my camera not focusing okay um but it slopes down a lot and just isn't too nice to see Personally, I'm probably going to mod it slightly, just that way it stands or it sits flat. But otherwise, the set does look nice. On the top, you can see a bunch of little just like tiles, or not tiles, but like pieces to make it have like a texture and pattern and stuff. You've got some stickers on like the two little spots where the engines are. And on the back, you can see the yellow for the engines. And... If we go ahead and flip it up one more time, you can see the nice bottom print, or the nice bottom, whatever. It's a decent bottom. Lego could have made it a little nicer. It's just yeah, decent. But if we go ahead and flip the wings up, which it's hard to do with one hand. Um, here, we'll go ahead and struggle with this for a sec. But you can see the wings do, like, fold up and down, but the wings are able to fold slightly more, than, yeah, slightly more than what they should, but it's, it's okay. I don't think anyone's gonna, like, purposefully set it on display like that. 
but you can see that it is much more slanted like this. You can easily tell that it slants forward on this, and it is pretty tall for a Mandalorian Starfighter. But that's going to be my set review for the Mandalorian Starfighter. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.